Hello and welcome to the RLI training video series. In this video we will be talking about flashcards and how they can help you remember what you have learned in each lesson. For creating them we will be using a software called Quizlet. Everybody knows that we cannot write everything down that we have in a lesson and we cannot remember everything. But we can use technology to get access to all the flashcards that can be created during a lesson. Our best friend will be the Spaced Repetition System, a tool that will show us the flashcards more often if we cannot remember them properly. In the other hand, it will not show us the flashcards if we show that we already remember them. So we can just go to our browser and type in quizlet.com. If we don't have our account created we have to create one so we have three options we can log in with Facebook with Google or we can just type our info and click on sign up so when you access to your account the first thing you see is your dashboard and you need to focus on this part folders here you can find the folder your teacher has created for you so mine is called Andres because this is my name. For this video, I'm supposed to be a student learning English from Spanish. When you click on this folder, you will be able to see different sets of flashcards for the different lessons. So if we get inside one of these sets, we can see that we have many different options to practice with them. We can go through them or we can practice with different applications. First one is flashcards. Solía trabajar como ingeniero. We can hear them. I used to work as an engineer. And we can guess the meaning. Los verbos compuestos son realmente importantes. Phrasal verbs are really important. If we go back to the set, we will find other options to learn and study. Here we can read the sentence in our native language and guess the meaning in the target language, which in this case is English. With the writing tool, we can write the sentence in the target language so practicing our writing and reminding the things we have seen in the lesson. With the spelling tool, you will be writing literally what you are hearing. The next time I see you I will be happy. So you will be practicing at the same time your writing and your listening. Even if you feel prepared, you can perform a test based on the flashcards of the lesson. Afterwards, you can keep track of your scores and reinforce the knowledge you have seen in class. It is literally having your own exercises designed for you and your needs. You can also choose this Match app, which is a game based on the popular Find the Matching Pairs game, but based on your flashcards. It can be really addictive and is definitely a really good way to keep you on track. Okay, so we now know how to learn with our flashcard sets. So now I want to introduce you to a really interesting feature of Quizlet, which is the search tool. You can type in any topic you are interested in and you will find other sets that people have posted for free. We can navigate through the results and select what sets we want to add to our folder. To add them, we press this plus sign, add to folder, and we select our folder. We can now check the set has been added to our folder and we can practice with it as we have done previously with the lesson. All of this is really useful but we cannot be the whole day sitting in front of our laptop so we can use the Quizlet app from whatever and whenever we want. We have access to the same folders and the same flashcard sets as in our browser. It has been designed in a really intuitive way so we will easily find that we have the same games, exercises and quizzes as if we were in our browser. We can also change the settings of each game pressing this button in the corner, with special attention to this option where we can specify the answering language. Pronunciation and listening features are also available in the app. Hola, mi nombre es Andres. Hello, my name is Andres. No era mi intención. Sometimes, when we have to write something literally in the app, we can make small mistakes as mistyping words. We can specify this to the app using this function here. You will probably find some differences in how the exercises and quizzes are displayed on the screen, but mainly they are the same. We can play our matching pairs game or push ourselves to see if we can improve our results on the test. Finally, as we did before in the browser, we can find other flashcard sets using the search tool. 
we can add the flashcard set to our folder by clicking this icon in the top right corner. This was just a quick overview about some of the many functions of Quizlet. We encourage you to practice as much as possible and find your favorite learning method.